Centennial High School student caught with a loaded gun at school. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Snyder. I'm Reed Cowan. Thankfully, nobody got hurt. It's our top story as News 3's Gabby Hart shows us a brave student's action actually led to that arrest. Yes, yeah, CCSD police tell me that another student at this school actually led them to the 16 year old. They found a gun in his backpack and today I spoke with students and parents to get their reaction. Around 11 o'clock Wednesday morning, CCSD police received a tip from a Centennial High student warning them that another student brought a gun to school. Officers found a 16 year old with a loaded 9 millimeter handgun in his backpack and they placed him under arrest. It's just sick. Parents and students say when they heard the news, they couldn't help but think about the mass shooting that have been happening across our nation. I just, I thought of chaos. I, I couldn't imagine because just, just the thought of it is just terrible, just to think about it. I have two kids that go to this school and I, I would die a thousand times over if they got hurt. I know the school does everything they can do, but I think it's not a school issue and it's, it's a parent issue and it's a society issue. We asked CCSD police why the student brought a gun to school and if he had made any threats prior to his arrest, but they said it's too early in the investigation to release those details. Honestly, I would revert back to the parents. I want to know what, what, what are they doing? Like what's wrong? CCSD sent a letter to parents letting them know what happened, saying in part authorities and school officials are taking appropriate steps in connection with this incident. Yeah, and the student that brought the gun to school is facing a numerous charges. Those charges include possession of a dangerous weapon on school property. CCSD police say that this is a reminder to students. If you see something, you need to say something. I'm reporting from Centennial High, Gabby Hart, News 3.